All right, Griffin students, your counselors are here for an end of the year message. We are excited to each kind of get, you know, get a chance to, to speak to you uh, to end the school year. We know it has been a one of a kind school year on all levels for teachers uh, and for you, especially students. It's been a very difficult year and I know we'll talk about that. Um, we are very excited for the future and we know all of us that might have a different path ahead of us. But the messages that we're going to share with you now, they hold true no matter where you're going to be next year, whether you're at Griffin, Pearson, or maybe you move out of state. Uh, we want you to listen to these and hopefully you can remember these over the summer because we have had a lot of counseling lessons this year. We have had the wellness, wellness week on Tuesday, Wildcat Wellness, and we have had the Fast Forward Fridays where we've talked about a lot of things and hopefully you were able to, you know, listen to your peers, listen to your teachers and learn some new things. Uh, but we want to each send you off with a, an important message that we think, you know, that will be beneficial for you for your future. OK, so hopefully you remember a lot of these things that we've talked about. But if for some reason, some of it slipped your mind. Uh, these are some of the more important ones we really think will help you be successful in middle school and high school and into your adulthood. OK. So my number one is understanding how to write your goals, whether it's a big goal, a little goal, however you write your goals. And we want you to dream big students, but understand along with setting a goal comes with a plan. And with your plan, you'll have to change your behaviors. In order to achieve the goal, you're going to have to do something new that you're not used to doing, whether it's grades, sports, friends, personal there's all kinds of goals you can write and there's all kinds of ways to make a plan where you got to change your behavior in order to reach that goal. Um, so that's my big lesson that I think you can use over the summer, middle and high school students. We are extremely thankful that we were able to have you back in the building this year. Please, please stay safe over the summer, but I will pass it to Dr. Richardson to have, you know, have her say her, her, her goodbyes. Thank you, Mr. McCaffrey. What an interesting and different and uh, for a lot of ways challenging year that we've all been through and walked through together. I think that's the big word is that we're together, that that's a big part of this whole experience. So what's most important to me to kind of piggyback on making a plan, a part of a plan, or there are a lot of things and elements that we can't control. Uh, but we can't let that stand in our way of accomplishing whatever goal that is or whatever we set out to do. And one way to focus is to focus on the things that you can control. Those are those things in your circle. And I know you've probably all heard all the counselors talk about focus on those things that you can control and let the other stuff go. Just try not to hold on to all the things, because if, if during all of this that we've gone through, if we spent every, all of our time worrying about the things we couldn't control, we wouldn't have been able to get to through school and accomplish all the great things that everyone has accomplished this year. I think we all need to give ourselves a collective pat on the back because this has been a very different year and we've all made it through. So yay. So congratulations. So focusing on that things so the things that we can control is something that's so important so I am going to pass it on to Miss Mejia so you can hear what's important what she feels is most important hey everyone and all my friends out there um, the thing I want you to remember is ACT um, I hope you all can tell me what that is a stands for acknowledge C stands for care and T for tell or talk to an adult. Sometimes you got to hand it over to an adult. Um, I hope you've all learned, you all have a voice. You all deserve to be heard um, and understood, important, most importantly, to be understood. So especially when we're feeling low, reach out to your friends, be that person for someone else, listen to them, listen to each other, look out for each other. Um, no one should be feeling alone, especially with all that we've been through. I hope we have found our, our circle of friends that we can really rely on when we're um, having a hard time. And now that many of us are going to Pearson, we'll be making new friends. Please look out for the kids that don't seem to kind of be fitting in, that don't seem to have any friends or are super shy. 
please reach out. You know, it's really hard for shy people sometimes to make friends. Reach out to the people that you feel like maybe are struggling um, and make new friends. This is a great chance to kind of reinvent yourself and, um, and reach out of your safety circle and, and um, explore other people and get to know other people. So make friends, remember ACT, look out for each other and listen to each other. Um, I'm gonna hand it over to Ms. McFadden. Hello, eighth grade. Guys, I am so sad that this school year is coming to a close, but I am so happy um, that you guys are moving on to the next to your next phase in life, and that's high school. High school is such an exciting place, and you're gonna make so many memories, and you're gonna have so many different friends um, from middle school and from elementary school. My advice to you is to join as clubs to um, be a part of things that you never thought that you would be a part of. That will make your circle even bigger. Um, you can have new friends, uh, you can meet new people, and you can have so many wonderful memories uh, from high school. And I'm sure each and every teacher that you have talked to, and even your counselors that are sitting here talking to you right now, they can tell you that high school is such an exciting place. I love high school. And my friends that I have now are the same friends that I had from high school. Guys, would you agree? Yes. Would you agree? So you're going to have lifelong friendships and you're going to build them um, in high school. So I am so excited uh, for you. One thing that I hope that you learn from this school year is um, that you can get through anything. You can get through anything. This has been a really tough, tough school year. And I hope that you have learned that, oh, this was a tough year, so I can get through anything. So high school is gonna be a challenge. Just know that you can get through it. You can make really good grades and you can graduate one of the top students in your class. You can do it because you guys are all very smart. You can do it, okay? So we wish you all the luck in the world. We can't wait for you guys to come back and visit us when you're in high school. We wanna see how much you have grown, how much you have grown up. And we, again, we are so excited um, that you're going on um, to a different um, level in your life. And before you go to high school, Ms. McFadden wants to make an announcement. Yes. Yeah, so, guys, I want you to join us for the eighth grade parade that we're going to have on Wednesday. And that's going to be at 11 o'clock on Wednesday. So we look forward to seeing you. Okay. And so that's what we'll say our last goodbye to you. But really, it's not a goodbye. Um, because we'll, again, we'll see you and you'll come back and visit us um, next school year or anytime um, throughout your four years in high school. So we look forward to seeing you and we're so excited that you guys are moving on um, to uh, the next school year. So congrats, eighth grade. Yeah. Congratulations, eighth grade. Yeah. So All guys, right. we love you. We, we miss you. We miss you already, um, but come back and see us. Yeah. Students. All right. Have a good, have a good day, guys. Stay safe.